it's present time! Oh boy, oh boy, thank you! Let me help you open it. Blue. Red. Green. Orange. I'm throwing a surprise birthday party for our Sesame Street friends. And what's a birthday party without some cupcakes? For that, I'll find the ingredients in my kitchen. Here's the confetti mix. And in the fridge, we have our milk and eggs. Using our microwave, I've melted some butter. Now the fun part. Let's get to baking. Let's begin by pouring in our cupcake mix in our bowl. Look at all of the colorful sprinkles. Here's our delicious cup of milk. And our melted butter. Now let's get our egg. This one looks perfect. Give it a little crack. Wait a minute, this isn't our egg. <gasps> Whoa, it exploded. That's okay, let's try it again. Now the tough part, whisk it all together. Phew, that was a good workout. This will make us one, two, three, four, five, six mega cupcakes. Now I'm going to stir our cupcakes to change their color. This one turned blue, red, and green. Awesome! Let's head over to our oven. I'm going to set our timer to let us know when they're ready. <gasps> our friends are here. Let me get the door. Hi, guys. Come on in. Surprise! Let me help you put your party hats on. Thanks. Here you are, Elmo. Here you are. And Abby. Our cupcakes are ready. Whoa, these cupcakes smell amazing. And they're super colorful. This right here is a school bus cupcake stand. And it's going to help me carry all of these delicious cupcakes to our friends. Let's go serve them to our friends. Green for Big Bird. Blue for Elmo. Red for for Cookie Monster, and green for Abby. Ooh, cupcakes. Wait, Cookie Monster. I got you guys a special birthday candle. Mmm, delicious cupcake. <laughs> I love it's present time! Oh boy, oh boy, thank you! Let me help you open it. Oh, what's this? Oh, you guys got a new puppy toy! It's a My Puppy's Home! Let's build it for our Sesame Street friends! These are all the pieces for the puppy's home! This must be the door! And this must be the roof. The nail. And hammer. Awesome! We just built a doghouse by putting all these walls together. And these nails are to make sure nothing comes apart. Here's the welcome mat and water bowl. Let's give our puppy some fresh water. Look, paw prints. Here's the puppy's nameplate with his name on it. Cookie. Wait a minute, did you hear that? I think our puppy's here. Oh, he's so cute and fluffy. Here's a juicy bone. <laughs> Ice cream, ice cream, 
What's ice cream? Did you hear that? It's the ice cream truck. Me want cookie ice cream cone. I want some too. Me want mm, mint chocolate ice cream and and chocolate cone and 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 cookies on top, please. I want a waffle bowl. Uh, with strawberry and chocolate ice cream. Uh, and some fruit toppings. Uh, and some Cool Whip. Oh, oh, and some colorful sprinkles too, please. Elmo will get a chocolate cone with a uh, vanilla ice cream and a red cherry on top. Okay. Vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, strawberry ice cream, and the chocolate chip. Banana. Hello. Strawberries, cherries, and cookies. There's strawberry ice cream. Continue the fun and make some pretend ice cream with our ice cream puzzle. I'm going to recreate our friend's ice cream request. Starting with our silly blue friend, Cookie Monster. First, we need a cookie cone. And the ice cream scooper. We're going to scoop up some mint chocolate ice cream. Awesome scoop! And for our toppings, we have strawberries, bananas, cherries, and cookies. Oh, I know! Let's add a cookie! Order up! And now our magical fairy friend, Abby Kadabby. Let's make her a banana split. Using our scooper, let's get a scoop of strawberry ice cream. There! And let's add a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Perfect! And for our toppings, let's add some bananas. Ooh, nice! And some strawberries. Bon appetit! And last but not least, our awesome friend Elmo! Starting off with our cone, we're going to add a scoop of chocolate ice cream. Great! Now, let's add some colorful sprinkles. Perfect! And for our toppings, let's add some cherries. Perfect! It's lunchtime! What do you guys want to eat? Pizza! 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 Pizza again? But you guys just ate that yesterday. Wouldn't you rather I make you a big juicy burger? With double! No, 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 no! Triple meat! You're so silly, Cookie Monster. I'll be right back with your lunch. Let's build our kitchen back to make our food. Eggplant. Carrot. Fish. Lettuce. 
tomato, egg, salt and pepper, yellow spatula, orange spatula, faucet, hot knob, cold knob, frying pan, Stove knobs. Kiddos, thank you for helping me complete our puzzle. Now let's make our food. I'm going to add our olive oil. While the meat's cooking, let's wash the lettuce. I'm going to place it in the sink and run some hot water first. And now some cold water. Oh, my patty! I need to flip it. Now that our lettuce is all nice and clean, let's make our burger. We're going to need our sesame seed hamburger buns. And for our condiments, I'm going to add some ketchup. And mustard. Perfect! Now we need to season the meat. First, I'm going to add some salt. Now pepper. Let's build our burger. First, our lettuce. And now, the hamburger meat. Slide it right on top of our lettuce. And voila! Bon appetit! Oh no! Wait a minute! I don't have enough patties for everyone! What am I going to do? Hmm, I'm not expecting anyone. Who could that be? What? Three Happy Meals? Who ordered these? Cookie Monster? Um, um not me! Oh, Cookie Monster. That's okay. Here you go, guys. For Abby, we have a hamburger. Some crispy french fries. Yum! And to drink, chocolate milk. For Cookie Monster, we have chicken nuggets. Some delicious french fries. And to drink, chocolate milk. And ranch for your nuggets. I'll open it for you, Cookie Monster. There you go. I got you, Elmo. Look how delicious your burger looks. Nom 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 delicious nom 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 Hmm, I wasn't expecting any visitors today. Oh, hello guys, nice to see you again. Hi, Abby invited us over for lunch last week. Oh yeah, you're right Elmo, come on in. What would you guys like to eat? Cookies, cookies, me want cookies. We need to eat our lunch first. Can you please make us a vegetable soup and a fruit salad? What about you, Oscar? I'll eat about anything. Wormies, flies, and snacks sounds good to me. Oh, come on, Oscar. You don't eat that. I'll treat you with some healthy and delicious vegetable soup and a fruit salad for dessert. Let's see what's inside the refrigerator. Brr! it's so cold in here. But refrigerators are supposed to be cold to keep our food safe to eat. I have a basket full of fruits for our fruit salad, but I have to make sure to wash them first. These purple fruits are grapes, and since I washed them earlier, I'm going to put them here on the side. Let's wash our kiwi, our watermelon, oh, and a pineapple. Our friends are going to love this fruit salad. Washing our fruits is very important. Raw fruits and vegetables sometimes contain germs that can make you sick. But don't worry, all those germs can go away by washing our fruit. <laughs> I wonder what my friends are doing. Let's see who built the tallest tower. Oh! I'm going to win this challenge for sure! Let me go check on the food! Oh, hi there, Abby! Uh, hi there! Um, I was wondering if you need any help making the food! 
No worries, Abby. I have everything in order. Oops, sorry about that. That's okay. Um, are you almost done? Yeah, I'm almost done. I just need to make the veggie soup after this. Why do you ask? Oh, uh, no reason. Okay, well, wait, Abby. Hmm, I think Abby's up to something. Or she's probably just hungry. Either way, this fruit salad looks really good. I hope they enjoy it. A little bit of sour juice from this lemon will make it even better. And what's a fruit salad without banana? Now this fruit is really interesting. It's called a dragon fruit. Now that we're done cutting our fruits, we want to keep them nice and fresh. So I'm going to put them back in the refrigerator. Our veggies are already washed and clean. Oh, hello, Abby. Do you happen to know the name of these veggies? I don't. It's okay. You know I'm here to help you learn. This long vegetable is called a bunching onion. It's like an onion, but long. And I know you know this one. It's, you guessed it, corn. This is an eggplant, and it's actually a fruit. But they're really good in soups. This is a purple onion. There's white and yellow ones too. A yummy carrot. You should eat carrots for a healthy vision. This is a radish. It's a root vegetable since they grow inside the ground. And this is a cabbage. They have a purple color, but they're actually called red cabbages. So, what's next? The soup? What are you up to? Why in such a hurry? Well, it's because... Oh, fine. Since I knew we weren't going to have a lot of time, I went ahead and ordered a pizza. I'm so sorry. That's okay, Abby. That was actually a good idea. Now let's go get the pizza. Yay! Uh-oh, what happened to the pizza? Uh, oopsie. Don't worry, Abby. Let's make another one. That's a good idea. Great, but first, let's put our veggies in our pot. Here goes our veggies. And a little bit of water to make our soup. Now we set our stove to broil. This looks fantastic. Already smells amazing. Let's cover it up and go make our pizza. Welcome to my pizza station. Let's make our pizza. You can't make a pizza without the dough. And the first red layer you see on a real pizza is the tomato sauce. Can't forget the cheese! <laughs> Abby! Right on time! What toppings should we put on the pizza? Well, I know Cooking Monster would love some pepperoni! That sounds like my kind of pizza! I'm going to put pepperoni on each slice! One... Two... Three, four slices. And Elmo likes mushrooms. Oh, okay. So let's put it on half of the pizza just in case the others don't like them. And Oscar loves everything green. So let's put some bell peppers. Okie dokie. One, two, three. And what about you, Abby? What would you like? Oh, Black olives for me, please. You got it. Let's put one, two, and a three. I already had my oven preheated. Let's cook our pizza. I just love making pizza. Making pizza is so much fun. Making pizza, yum, yum, yum. Now, Abby. 
Bobby. While the pizza's cooking, why don't you go check on our friends and see if they need anything? Okay. Our pizza is hot and ready to go. Wow, this pizza looks amazing and smells delicious. I bet our friends are hungry. Let's go. Right on time. I think our soup is finished. Ooh la la, it smells delicious. Let's go serve it to our friends. Okay, I'll take the soup since it's a little bit heavy. Great idea. I'll take the fruit salad. Oh, I see. Bananas, grapes, pineapple. Here is the fruit salad, the vegetable soup, and the pizza Abby helped me make. Lunch is served. Bon appetit. Oh, pizza. Just don't eat it all this time, Cookie Monster. Whoa. Nom, 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 nom. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now watch this. Our Sesame Street numbers turned into a school bus. School buses help to transport students. And I see all of our friends inside. <laughs> Elmo is coming back from school. How awesome was your day, Elmo? Best day ever! Good to hear that, Elmo. Do you have some homework today? Yes, but I want to play. I'll do it later. Don't worry, you'll have plenty of time to play. I'll give you a hand this time. What is all of this in Elmo's backpack? It seems he was playing farmer in school. I better make some salad with all of these carrots. No! Those carrots are for my number and shape sorter. Now it makes sense why these carrots have numbers on them. Let's put them in order. Number one goes first. Two, three, four, and five. This is a red circle. Circles don't have any sides. An orange square. Squares have four equal sides. Yellow triangle. Triangles have three sides. Green pentagon. Pentagons have five sides. Blue star. You can find many stars in the night sky. Awesome job. But since we couldn't make a salad with these carrots, I'll make a barbecue with my new pink barbecue pit. All we need to do is open this cover. Throw some charcoal inside to make my pretend fire and my grill to put the food on top. One whole steak for Elmo, since he's super hungry. A sausage link. And to make it healthy and tasty, I'll be adding one corn on the cob. And I'll cut a big slice of tomato with my pretend knife. There you go. Greens are always important in a healthy meal. And before everything burns, I'll use my spatula to flip the steak. Wait a minute. This wing wasn't here before, and it couldn't get here flying. Well, I guess I'm will love it too. First plate served. Now, let's serve him this juicy steak. Our broccoli, the corn on the cob, and this slice of tomato. Wow, Elmo, you already finished your first plate? Hello there. Abby, I thought you rode the same bus as Elmo. I sure do, but I decided to come flying today and breathe some fresh air and get some ice cream too. I have something better than ice cream, but first, let's get your homework done. Seems like Abby was coloring with these big crayons at school. Let's get one out and see what color we get. This one is the color pink, and I think we have a surprise inside. This crayon is the color blue. This color is red. And the last crayon is green. Since Abby's favorite color is pink, we'll open that one first. Let's see. Oh, kiddos, do you know what this is called? It's a Peppa Pig stethoscope. Doctors use these to listen to your heart. And inside the red crayon, there's 
an otoscope so doctors can check your ears. And inside the green crayon we have pretend medicine. And inside the blue crayon we have a... Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, I've seen one of these before. It's a bandage. And bandages help you heal faster from an injury. This one looks like a pink crayon. Looks nice and feels much better. Playing with the crayons was so much fun, Abby. Now it's lunchtime. I have this sushi maker from Melissa and Doug Toys. Everyone loves sushi. We have two different types of sushi here. This one is an uramaki roll. And it has white rice outside and seaweed inside. And hosomaki roll, which has seaweed on the outside instead. Let's cut the portion for Abby. I'll be cutting two pieces of each. One, two. With the help of my chopsticks, I'll put the sushi on Abby's plate. Using chopsticks could be really hard. I'm still learning. But remember, practice makes perfect. There are more types of sushi, like this one. We'll need rice and a piece of salmon. And now, we're going to wrap it around with a piece of seaweed. There you go! You can make it with shrimp too. And egg. And to drink, a hot tea. Is it ready yet? Here you go, Abby. Thank you so much! Me hungry too! Oh, Cookie Monster! I think you're forgetting something. Oh, my birthday. Not your birthday, Cookie Monster, your homework. Let's go do uh, it. Oh, yes, okay. I see some fun toys. We have Oscar, Cookie Monster, Elmo, and Big Bird. This is going to be so much fun. It's Sesame Street Play-Doh. Blue, green, yellow, and red. We use these to make fun shapes with our Play-Doh. There are so many different shapes we can make. But today we'll be making spaghetti Play-Doh. We're going to need a little bit of yellow Big Bird Play-Doh. And some blue Cookie Monster Play-Doh will complete our recipe to make our colorful spaghetti. Now we push down this lever to get our spaghetti shape. Whoa, it's coming out everywhere. Oh, that looks nice. But I think it was a little too much Play-Doh that came out on top. It looks more like gummy worms. Now, let's use a little bit of green Oscar Play-Doh and red Elmo Play-Doh. And this time we'll do the flower shape. Wow, it looks like green lime ice cream. Me still hungry. Don't worry, Cookie Monster. I haven't forgotten about you. It's sandwich time. And since I know you really love veggies, I'll add all the veggies we have. Me not veggie monster. Me cookie monster. Eating veggies won't make you a veggie monster. It'll make you a healthy monster. First, we'll need our sesame bread. We'll prepare it with three different meats. Chicken, ham, and beef. But we'll only need one of each, so I'll be using my slice cutter. I'm so glad I put this plate here. It's going to help me catch my slices and not make a mess. Here are my three different meats. And who doesn't love cheese in their sandwich? But wait, Cookie Monster really loves cheese sandwiches. So let's put one, two, three slices. And let's add some lettuce, tomato, onion, and black olives. Here goes our juicy lettuce. Our two slices of tomato. And black olives, of course. Cookie Monster's favorite. And two thin slices of purple onion. Mustard for extra flavor. And we're all done. Let's take it to Cookie Monster. He's going to love it. Thank you. Can we eat it now? 
Yes, of course, Cookie Monster. Oh, no, sorry. That's all right, Cookie Monster. I'll make you another one. Look, kiddos, we have an ice cream cart. Let's build it together. We can't have an ice cream cart without a sign. These help us hold one up. The second one goes right here. A roof to give us some shade, since it's really sunny. And finally, our ice cream sign. This will help bring in the customers. And these white stickers will make my cart look extra nice. And this sticker is for my cash register, of course. I'll be accepting dollars and coins. This will make it easier to push my cart around. And here's my popsicle holder. This is where I'll be placing my delicious popsicles. Let's not forget about our ice cream scooper. Now, let's open our ice cream cones. Let's see how many we have. Kiddos, count with me. One. Two. Three. This is red cherry syrup. This is white Cool Whip, which is what I like on my ice cream. And orange sprinkles. We have so many flavors. Mmm, this is our strawberry flavored ice cream. Lime flavored ice cream. Vanilla flavored ice cream. And chocolate flavored ice cream. Look at all of these popsicles. Ooh, this is a strawberry popsicle with sprinkles. Let's place it in the first spot. And we have orange creamsicle. This one is a banana popsicle with chocolate syrup. And this one's lemon lime swirl. Now we're all set up. Let's help our friends get their ice cream. This is for our friend, Chick. Coke, chocolate, cherry. This is for our friend, Monkey. Now scoop it. This is for our friend Kitty. Cone, vanilla, sprinkle. Cone, vanilla, sprinkle. Great job, kiddos. Now that we're ice cream experts, let's start selling. Ice cream, who wants ice cream? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Me was looking for cookies. But this looks yum, yum, yummy! Hello there, Cookie Monster! I have the best ice cream in town! Would you like to buy some ice cream from my ice cream cart? Yes, me too! Me would like to eat blue ice cream! That's the best ice cream! I think I have what you're looking for, Cookie Monster! I have a cone with the number 7 on it! That means I need seven blue ice cream scoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here you go, Cookie Monster. Seven blue scoops. That'll be two coins, please. Okay. One, two. So cool! We've made our first sale! One, two. Oh, thank you! Go, Wabango! <laughs> Silly Cookie Monster! Everyone knows pink ice cream is the best! Could I please have an ice cream cone with three pink scoops? That would be a great treat since I did so great in school this week! I'd be more than happy to help you, Abby. I have an idea. I can use some magic to help you count the ice cream scoops. Great, here's Abby's cone with the number three on it. Abby, do your thing. Bippity boppity boop. Let's start to scoop. One scoop, two scoops, three scoops, yum. That was so much fun. So that'll be one coin, please. Okay, here you go. Great, now let's put it in the cash register. Thank you. Mmm, <laughs> ooh, that 
look like fun! My turn! Hi, Elmo! Welcome to my scoop and learn ice cream cart! What can I get for you? I would like something for me and my best friend Dorothy! Let me get one ice cream cone with six red scoops! Here's our cone with the number six on it! Let's get our red scoops! One, two, three, four, five, and six! Here you go, Elmo! Your red ice cream cone with six scoops! And one pink bubblegum ice pop with sprinkles, please! Coming right up! Here's the pink bubblegum popsicle with sprinkles! Dorothy's gonna love it! Here you go, Elmo! That will be four coins! One, two, three, four! Thank you for coming, Elmo! Say hi to Dorothy for me! Will do! Thank you! La 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 la! La 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 la! Uh, hello! I noticed Elmo left with some ice cream and I was wondering if I can get some too! Hi, Oscar! Of course! What would you like? Uh, something smelly and dirty would be nice! Oh, sorry, Oscar! We don't have any of that! But I can get you some green spinach and kale ice cream! It's full of vitamin C! Alright, that'll do! Then let me get you this cone with the number 5 on it! And one, two, three, four, five scoops! Here's your spinach and kill ice cream! That will be two coins, Oscar! Uh, okay. Here you go, ma'am. Thank you and great manners! Here's one and two coins! Thank you for the ice cream. Bye! Phew! What a day! I think that was our last customer! Time to close up now! Wait! Wait! Hello! Are you still open? Big Bird, how are you? I was about to close up, but I still have some ice cream left if you'd like a cone! Great! I'll have an ice cream cone with four yellow scoops, please! You got it! Here's our cone with the number four on it! One... Two... Three... Four yellow ice cream scoops! Here you are! Thank you! How much will that be? Know what, Big Bird? This one's on the house! Oh my! Thank you very much! Have a nice day! Bye! Today is a good day to go camping! Let's unbox our camping toy playset and set it up for our friends! What fun things do you think we'll find inside? We have so many cool things! Let's build our tent first! Wow, this is such a cool tent! I'm going to roll up the front door so we can see inside! Secure our knot! All done! We have marshmallows! And graham crackers! But first, we need to... Build a campfire! Yay! Now we can make some s'mores! Can you help us put the marshmallows on the stick, please? Of course! There you go, nice and snug! Thank you! Yeah, thanks a bunch! And now we can play a sword fight! Oof! Oh no! Ow! Got ah! you! Over here! Elmo, Abby, wait a minute! You guys! You don't want to ruin your marshmallows! I didn't bring any backups! Oh! Sorry! Let me help you make your s'mores, since these marshmallows are really hot! Here you go, Abby! Enjoy! Now let me help you with yours, Elmo! There you go! Perfect! Yay! What? Hey, Abby! It's story time! Let's go inside the tent and read a story with 
Our really cool lantern! Wait a minute, Cookie Monster, what are you doing in here? Me no PG Monster! Oh, sorry, me was taking a nap! No worries, you're just in time for story time! We're going to be reading Camp With Me ABC! We're going camping! What should we bring? If we go through the alphabet, we won't forget a thing! Or we drift to sleep beneath the big bright moon! Wasn't that just a great story, guys? Great book, but not cookies! Cookies? Oh, Cookie Monster! Well, I mean, it is lunchtime! Where did you leave the lunch, Cookie Monster? Um, sorry! Me forgot! That's okay! I brought a portable grill! Since I had a feeling something like this would happen! And to start, we have a chicken to roast! Let's prepare it with some salt! And pepper! I'm going to secure our chicken on the skewer and rotate it. This is to make sure it's cooking evenly. Time to fire up our grill. The left knob turns on the left side of the grill. And this knob, the right side. Let's give it a spin. This chicken's a bit small to feed everyone. So, using the spatula, I'll place a grilled fish on the left side and the sausage on the right. Now we'll add some barbecue sauce all over. Using the tongs, I'm going to flip the fish. And sausage. Chicken's ready! We're going to need our cutting board. Next, we need to take the chicken off of the skewer. And using our pretend knife, I'm going to cut it in one, two, three, four pieces. Using the same skewer, we're going to make a kebab with shrimp, bell pepper, mushroom, steak, onion, tomato, and some more shrimp. Now that it's all ready, let's place it on our grill. Our food is ready. Let's serve it to our friends. Dinner is served. What's this? Using our magnifying glass, we could take a closer look. Oh, this is an ant. Ants are actually the longest living insects. Whoa, that is really interesting. And this next insect is a grasshopper. Did you know they have ears on their bellies? That's so cool. This insect is a beetle. Beetles are actually one of the world's oldest animals, having been here for over 300,000 years. Whoa, look at this little guy. It's a spider. Did you know spiders live everywhere in the world except for Antarctica? Guess I know where I'm moving. This big guy is a praying mantis. They can camouflage and blend into their environment. And they're usually green or brown. The insects are taking over! Run away! Oh, guys, it's just a few bugs! Oh, well, more for me! At Farmer Yumi's farm, bunnies are popping up all over I'm the getting a little hungry! Can we have a snack, please? Yes, yes, me hungry too! What? But you just ate 15 minutes ago! But you know what does sound good? A delicious and healthy snack! Whoa, whoa! Cookie sounds really good right now! Oh, Cookie Monster, no! We need a healthy snack! Hmm... Oh, how about a banana milkshake and apple slices? Yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. How about we go get some at the grocery store? Yay! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! In order for you to go to the grocery store with us, Cookie Monster, we need to buckle you up in your car seat. There you go, nice and safe. Your turn, Abby. Awesome. 
awesome. Let's go. <laughs> dom de dom dom dom. Wow. Dom de dom dom dom. This is so much fun. Are we there yet? <laughs> la 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 la. Abby, Cookie Monster, we're here. Hello. Welcome to our first floor. Cool. I'll get the shopping cart. Let's see. Ooh, look. Fluffy white rice. Chocolate cake mix. Mmm. Fried rice. And whole wheat linguine. Ooh, there's also tuna fish. Some alphabet soup. Mmm, a croissant. Yum, yum. Hamburger buns. Ooh, pasta. Oh, my favorite. Macaroni and cheese. And here's the fruit. I found the apples. One apple. These Ooh. apples look delicious. And two apples. Ooh. Yay, now let's get our bananas. Come on, let's go. All done. Now, let's go pay. Five everything okay? Why, yes. We just came for some fruit. One apple? Two apples. One banana? Two bananas. Oh, here you go. Is this cookie too? Yes, please. That'll be three dollars, please. I got this. Here we go, cookie bunch. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, cookie, 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 <laughs> cookie. Here we go. Thank you. See you soon. This supermarket is my favorite place. <laughs> that was so much fun. Let's wash our apples. And now, I'll slice our apples. Awesome! Now let's make some fun shapes. What shape do you think it's going to be? It's a bunny. It's so cute. Let's make some more. I'll also be making some heart shapes. Great job! We're all done. Here we go. Here are your apple shapes and your bendy straws for your banana milkshake. Let me taste it first. Mm, oh, so yummy. Ooh, banana milkshake. My favorite. Ooh, bonus apples. Oh, wait. Wait, Cookie Monster. I want the heart shaped ones. Whoa, sorry. Running late to class. Come on, Abby. Right behind you. Good morning, class. My name is Dr. McStuffin, and I'm the best vet doctor in town. When I grow up, I want to be a veterinarian too. That's great, because today I will be showing you how to care for a dog and cat. This is Muffin, our first patient. She is a four-year-old dog and is here for a wellness visit. I see on her chart she is feeling good. We'll be needing our otoscope, thermometer, stethoscope, 
and ointment. Abby, can you please come up here and check Muffin's ears with the autoscope? Yes, yes, I'll do it. Hmm, I just see some floppy ears. The left ear looks clear. And the right ear is clear too. Great job. Now Elmo, can you please check Muffin's heartbeat with this stethoscope? Sure. Ooh, it sounds like a drum. Perfect. That means Muffin's heart is super healthy. Oh, Dr. McStuffin, can I check your temperature, please? Of course, Abby. Here is the thermometer. <laughs> 101 degrees. Is Muffin okay? Yes, that's actually the average temperature for dogs and cats. Now, Elmo, can you please check her paws? Hmm, her paws are all red like me. Is that normal? No, it's not. But here is some ointment that'll make her feel better. <laughs> She's all better. Great job, boys and girls. Oh, it's lunchtime. See you guys after lunch. While they're in lunch, come with me to my critter clinic. Here we are at my critter clinic, which is full of fun, colorful surprises. In order to open our doors, we need the keys. Who do you think is inside our red door? It has a fire symbol on it. It's Firefighter Pup Marshall. Oh, it looks like he's got to go on the first mission of the day. He needs his new super cool fire truck. Good luck, Marshall! Now, do you recognize who this character is on our blue door? Her name starts with the letter B. You guessed it, it's Bluey! And wait a minute, she's wearing her swimsuit and goggles! Perfect for a swim day! Our green door has a recycling symbol on it. I'm pretty sure Oscar the Grouch is in here. Oh, it's Rocky. Ruff, ruff. He's got to go pick up some recycling material to build the park Marshall fought the fire at. Bye, Rocky. And now for our orange door. I see a silly pup that loves to play keepy uppy. Do you know who this is? It's Bingo, Bluey's younger sister. And here comes Bluey to play keepy yucky. <laughs> There's a propeller and some wings in front of the pink door. Who could be behind here? It's Sky. This pup's gotta fly. I'm on it. There you go. Hmm, is that a wrench on the yellow door? Ruff, ruff. Oh, I think I know who's in here. I knew it. It's Rubble. He drives a big yellow construction vehicle. And he's on his way to help Rocky finish building the park. Wait a minute, what are you doing, Rubble? Gotta take a gumball for the road. Oh, Rubble, you're so silly. Bye! Hi, guys. How was lunch? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Not a problem. Excuse me, class. I have a friend who really needs my help and is coming over. Hello? Oh, look. There he is. Hi, Dr. McStuffin. Thanks for seeing me on such short notice. It's no problem, Chase. What seems to be the problem? While I was out saving the day, I got a thorn stuck on my paw. Can you please help me, Doctor? I've tried just about everything and I can't get it out. Of course, Chase. Let me get my medical bag. Here it is. First, I'll be getting tweezers. This will only hurt for a little bit, Chase. I need you to be extra brave. Here I go. 
It's almost out! I got it! Now, this cast will help protect your paw while it heals. And here is some pretend medicine for the pain. And remember, kiddos, only grown-ups can give medicine. There you are, Chase. You'll be feeling better in no time. Thank you so much, Dr. McStuffin. Now I can get back to fighting crime. Chase is on the case. One cookie for you, Cookie Monster. Do you want a cookie? A love cookie. I, I think Cookie Monster wants more cookies. Let's give him some. Uh-oh. That's weird. The box is empty. You finished a full box of cookies, Cookie Monster. Kiddos, can you help me make more cookies for Cookie Monster? Great! These are the ingredients we'll be using. And because we want Cookie Monster to be strong and healthy, I'll be adding some fruits and vegetables to our recipe. But first, we'll need to wash our fruits and veggies in our washing station. We begin by turning on our faucet. First is our pineapple. And with this little brush, I make sure it gets nice and clean. <laughs> now, let's wash our watermelon. And watermelon is an exceptionally healthy fruit. Now, our carrot. An interesting fact about carrots is that they're made up of 87% water. And last is our dragon fruit. It tastes like a combination of a kiwi and a pear. So cool! Now that we've finished washing our fruits and veggies, the real fun is about to begin! We're going to use these eggs for our mix. This is our first egg, and it's making a silly face. Now I'm going to crack it into our mixing bowl. Oh, this egg had a red yolk. And there's an orange chicken side. And the bottom is in the shape of a circle. Now let's put it back in our carton. There you go. Now let's get our second egg. This one has a screaming face. Wow! This egg had a teal colored yolk. And it had a purple chicken side. And this one has a cross shape on the bottom. I'm going to put it back in our carton and get our third egg. This one looks worried. So cool! It had a yellow yolk. This chick is also the color yellow. And it has a square shape on the bottom. There you go, little chick. Now I'm going to get our fourth egg. This one looks a little mischievous. Amazing! It had a blue yolk. It also has a blue chicken side. And this little chick has a star shape on the bottom. And it goes right here. Our fifth egg has a sleepy face. Wake up, little eggy! This yolk is the color pink. And it looks really shiny. And inside our egg is a pink chick. And on the bottom of our egg is a triangle shape. It goes right here. Our sixth and final egg is making a silly face. Cool! It had a green yolk. Look at all of our colorful yolks. And inside our egg is a green chick. And it has the shape of a heart on the bottom. Great job, kiddos! You get a gold star! Now that we've finished with all of our eggs, let's put them to the side and get our washed fruits and veggies. We'll also be using our cutting board and pretend knife. Let's start by cutting a piece of pineapple. Pineapples are really delicious fruit. Let's add it to our mix. Our next fruit is a watermelon. And we'll only be needing one slice. This is going to add so much flavor. Our third fruit is a delicious dragon fruit. And we're only going to use one slice. 
Our fourth and final piece is a delicious carrot. And a carrot is a delicious vegetable. Now I'm going to add our flour. And a cup of delicious milk. All we need to do now is mix it all together. All done! I know what will make this mix even more magical. Some red glitter. Perfect! Now let's add blue glitter. I love glitter. It just makes everything so magical. Next, I'll be adding purple glitter. Purple glitter is my favorite color. What's your favorite color? Now I'll be adding gold glitter. I think our cookies are going to be so colorful. For our last color, we'll be adding green glitter. And we finished. I just love the way it turned out. Our final step is to place it into our pretend oven. Our cookies are ready. Wow, these cookies smell delicious. Here you go, Cookie Monster. Your first cookie is the color orange. Me want cookie. Me love cookie. I see something inside the cookie jar. Wow, we got an orange squishy ball. Look at all of these orange bubbles. Our second cookie is the color green. Here you go, Cookie Monster. We got a green car with the number five on it. And it has one, two, three, four wheels. Our third cookie is the color red. It's Mario! Wait a minute, he's missing something! His red cap! Here it is! Our fourth cookie is the color blue! Me want cookie. I am me love cookie. Let's see what we got! It's a Stitch Tsum Tsum! And he has two big pink ears! And is super stretchy! Our fifth cookie is the color pink. Me want cookie. Me love cookie. We got a Minnie Mouse mermaid. And she's wearing a pink bow and a pink dress. And her mermaid tail is also the color pink. Our sixth and final cookie is the color yellow. Me want cookie. For this surprise, we got one, two, three yellow magnetic puzzle pieces. Let's put it together. What do you think it is? It's a yellow ice cream with sprinkles in the middle and a swirl on top. Cookie Monster wants to play hide and seek with the planets. Here we have our super space crew to help us find the planets and complete our puzzle. Don't they look so cool? First up, we have Elmo. And he's got a blue jetpack and a super cool yellow and green spacesuit. Astronaut Elmo, I need you to go find the first planet closest to the sun. Okay, I got this. In order for Elmo to travel through outer space, he needs to use the red rocket ship. There he goes! Oops! Elmo crashed into a giant blue ball. Let me see what it is. It's Mercury! Mercury is the first planet closest to the sun. You did it! Ouch! This planet is really hot! Now let's go to outer space and check out Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. 
and the nearest to the sun. Astronaut Ernie is rocking his blue and green spacesuit. Just look at these awesome glasses. He's going to need them to protect his eyes while traveling in the blue and red spaceship. Astronaut Ernie, I need you to find the second planet. Is that a giant gumball? Hmm, I don't think so. Let me check it out. It's the second planet, Venus. Great job, astronaut Ernie. Venus is the second planet from the sun. And at night, it is the brightest planet in the sky. And now, it's time for Big Bird to join the mission. Just look at his shiny silver spacesuit. Looks like he's ready to bust a move. Okay, Big Bird, let's get back to business. I need you to find the third planet. And here's the rover to help you get there, astronaut Big Bird. Good luck! I think I found the sun. Big Bird, I don't think that's the sun. But great job! You found the third planet. This planet's name is Earth. Earth is our home planet. And it is the third planet from the sun. Okay. Astronaut Grover, are you ready to have some fun? With your supersonic jetpack, you'll find the fourth planet. Ready? Three, two, one. No way! I found a new purple planet! That's not a planet, Grover. But I'm sure we can find one hiding inside. Awesome! This is the fourth planet. Let's go put it on our puzzle board. The fourth planet is called Mars. Mars is a dusty, cold, and desert planet. It's also known as the red planet because, well, it's red. Astronaut Bert, we need your help. I'm really digging your blue and red spacesuit. Those colors really suit you. Thanks. This is a teleportation suit. That's so cool. You ready for your mission? I need you to find the fifth planet. Okay, I'm on it. Whoa! Oh, an alien cone. We must be near. This is such a cute treat. Really out of this world. Wow! Awesome, Bert! You found the fifth and largest planet! This planet is called Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. You can actually fit more than 1,300 Earths inside Jupiter. Uh-oh, kiddos! Bad news! Cookie Monster forgot where he hit the last three planets. But not to worry, Elmo is going to join him on this special mission. Well, like I always say, two astronauts are better than one. And two cookies are better than one. Cookie Monster, you can have all the cookies you want. But first, you need to find the last three planets with Elmo. Walkie dokie. Look kiddos, Cookie Monster and Elmo are at the space station mechanics. Let's help them get the space cars back on the car loader. Using this magnetic arm, we'll get blue car number one. Now, white car number two. Let's turn our car loader around so we can fit the rest of our space cars. 
Next is red car number three. And last but not least, yellow car number four. Great job, kiddos! Yes, it's the sixth planet. This planet's name is Saturn. Saturn is recognized as the Moon King planet with over 140 moons. It's the Playhouse! Look who it is! It's a red Elmo ball! That was so much fun! And this is a yellow Big Bird ball! So silly! And this is a green Oscar the Grouch ball! Wait a minute, what's this? It's our seventh planet, Uranus! Uranus rotates in the opposite direction. And it spins around a horizontal axis. Ooh, what's this? Kiddos, we did it! We found the eighth and final planet hidden inside the colorful gumballs. This planet is Neptune, and that completes our planet puzzle. Neptune is the furthest planet from the sun, meaning it is cold and whipped by supersonic winds. Hi kiddos, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an experiment with our Sesame Street friends. First, let's spin the wheel. It's Elmo. Why are there four cups in front of us? That's a great question, Elmo. We're going to do an experiment. Let me show you. First, we're going to add two tablespoons of baking soda to each cup, just like this. And now, I'm going to be adding four drops of food coloring to each cup. You can add as little or as much as you'd like. And now, I'm going to add vinegar. Watch the magic. This one is the color yellow like Big Bird. And this one is the color red, like Elmo. And this one is the color blue, like Cookie Monster. And this last one is the color green, like Rosita. I love science! Isn't science so cool and fun? Now let's spin the wheel again. It's Ernie's turn. Oh, cool. Are we painting today? No, sorry, Ernie. We're not painting. We're actually going to do the walking water experiment. Let's get started. I'm going to be adding water to the cups that have food coloring in them, like this. Now, I'm going to add these napkins to each cup. You can already see the napkin absorbing the colored water. How cool is that? And now, with a little patience, you'll see the empty cups fill with the mixed colors. This process takes a lot of patience, but it's so worth it. That was a nice experiment. We learned colors. Now let's spin it again. It's Cookie Monster's turn. That's not a cookie. No, it's not a cookie. It's a stick figure, Cookie Monster, and we're going to need it for our next experiment. Do you want to see what we're going to do? Let's go then. Little by little, I'm going to be adding water to the side of the plate. Now watch the magic happen. The little stick figure is floating. That was so much fun! Kiddos, you can ask your grown-up to help you recreate this at home. Now let's spin the wheel again. It's Abby's turn! What is this? And what 
is it for? Great question, Abby. This is a plate with some milk on it. We're going to need it for our next experiment. Are you ready? Let's get started. I'm going to be adding different colors of food coloring onto the middle of the plate like this. And now, with this Q-tip that has dish soap on it, I'm going to dip it in the middle. Whoa! Look at all of the colors explode! This is so much fun! That was really magical! It really was, Abby! Let's spin the wheel again. It's Cookie Monster's turn. Oh, yummy candy. Wait, Cookie Monster. We're going to be doing another experiment. I'll show you. I'll be adding water to the middle of the plate like this. And with a little patience, you'll see the magic happen. This experiment does take quite a bit of patience but it's so much fun! Me love candy and me love science! I know you do, Cookie Monster! Now let's spin the wheel again! It's Big Bird's turn! I was really thirsty! Thank you for this big glass of water! I'm so sorry, Big Bird! This water isn't for you! That's okay! But don't worry, let me show you what we're going to do. I'm going to add some shaving cream to the top of our water. There you go. And now I'm going to add some food coloring to the top. This experiment is going to be a storm of fun. These fun colors look so cool in the water. It looks like rain falling from a cloud. That was so cool. Can we do that again, please? Of course we can, Big Bird. But for now, let's see another experiment, okay? Let's spin the wheel. It's Oscar's turn. Wow, are those straws trash? No, Oscar, they're for our next experiment. Let me show you. I've created a square out of bendy straws. On the bottom, we have bubble solution. Now, I'm going to add a piece of string like this. And with my Q-tip dipped in dish soap, I'm going to pop the bubble in the middle of the string. Now watch it roll around in our square. Look closely, there's no bubble in the middle. Kiddos, these are really fun experiments that you can do at home. Now let's spin our wheel again. It's Abby Kadabby's turn! Wow! Look at that pretty flower! Abby, would you like to see a fun magical experiment? Let me show you this flower come to life! That was magical! It really was! Now let's spin it again! It's Ernie's turn! Wait, Ernie! That's not a trampoline! It's a bag of water for our next experiment! Do you want to see what we're going to do? Let's get to it! We're going to start with the color green! Next is the color pink! Whoa, it slides right through! Now let's do the color orange! Next, the color blue, yellow. It's so cool how the water doesn't spill out. Last, we have the color red. Wow, that was so fun. Hi, kiddos. Look, we have blue Cookie Monster Play-Doh. Whoa, it's red Elmo Play-Doh. Hi, Elmo. Look who it is! It's pink Abby Play-Doh! Awesome! It's green 
Oscar the Grouch Play-Doh. And look, yellow Big Bird Play-Doh. Surprise! It's orange bird Play-Doh. Look at all of our fun Play-Dohs that we have. Oh no, our Sesame Street friends are mixed up. Hello, hello. Don't worry, Abby Kadabby is here to help. I'm going to fix this with my magic spell. Double pace, cut the chase. Find my friends a hiding place. Zippity zap. Oh no, I think I said the wrong spell. We need to go find them. No worries, Abby. Let's go find our friends together. First, we have our Elmo Play-Doh. Let's see what's inside. This Play-Doh is the color red. Do you know what else is the color red? An apple. Wait, look! We found Big Bird. Oh, hello. I have a fun magical spell for Big Bird. He doesn't want to be big. He doesn't want to be taller. Please make my friend Big Bird smaller. So cool. Now we have a yellow cutter. Thank you, Abby. Let's use our Play-Doh to see what fun shape we have. Now let's use our roller to make it nice and flat. Kiddos, what do you think it's going to be? It's ready. It's a Triceratops. This dinosaur is famous for its three horns on the top. Next we have our Abby Kadabby Play-Doh. Let's see what fun surprise is inside. This pink Play-Doh reminds me so much of Bubblegum. Whoa! We got a Disney Dorables. It's the Series 8 collection. Let's see who we got. Do you think we'll find the special scented edition? Let's see what fun characters we got. Uh-oh. That's okay. Let's open this one first. Aw, look at this little cutie. It's young Princess Moana. Now let's open her second durable. <gasps> no way, kiddos. We got scented Belle. Why, hello, young Moana. Hello, Princess Belle. Got you. It's Oscar the Grouch. Let's see what fun surprise is in here. Kiddos, what do you think is going to be inside this green Play-Doh? It's one of our Sesame Street friends. Wow! It's Bert. Hi, Bert. I have a special magical surprise for you. Change your shirt. Change your sock. Now it's time to change into a rock. Uh-oh. My bad. Gotta go. Silly Abby. Let's use our green Play-Doh to see what shape this is. To flatten it out, let's use our roller. Perfect. Now let's use our cutter. Get back here, Cutter. It's a Spinosaurus. Next is our Big Bird Play-Doh. Let's see what fun surprise is in here. What do you think it is? I see something blue. It's our Sesame Street friend, Cookie Monster. Why, hello. I've got a special spell for Cookie Monster. Now I'm here, but not for long. I brought something magical. Cookie Monster, be gone. Wow, it's a rocking horse. <laughs> it's a baby surprise. <laughs> Will we get two or three babies? This is such a cute little blankie. <gasps> yes, we got three babies. Let's open this one first. <laughs> Our first baby looks like a genie baby. Now let's open our second baby. It's a baby girl genie. 
Now let's open our third baby. Our third baby is another baby genie. And this one has a little feather on his hat. So cute! We got the Aladdin babies! Let's put our babies to sleep in their rocking horse. Here goes one, two, three babies. Look, it's Cookie Monster Play-Doh. Can you guess what Cookie Monster's favorite snack is? That's right, it's cookies. Ooh, I see something green. It's our Sesame Street friend, Oscar. Sorry, I'm late. Hi, Oscar. I have a magical spell for you. Long time listener, first time caller. Magically make Oscar's feet smaller. Wowza, it's a green cutter. Can you kiddos guess what this cutter is? Let's use our blue Play-Doh to make a shape. We really need our roller for this one. Now let's place our cutter on top. Hmm, I think it's gonna be a broccoli. Oh wait, never mind, it's a stegosaurus. Wait a minute, I think there's someone inside. It's Elmo! Hiya there, Elmo! I found you! Let's go back with the rest of our friends! Elmo is the color red, so let's put him on top of our red Elmo Play-Doh. Big Bird is the color yellow, so let's put him on top of the yellow Big Bird Play-Doh. Cookie Monster is the color blue, so let's put him on top of the blue Cookie Monster Play-Doh. Oscar is the color green, so let's put him on top of the green Oscar Play-Doh. Bird has a big bright orange nose, so let's put him on top of the orange Bird Play-Doh. Last but not least, we have Abby. Abby, thank you so much for helping us find our Sesame Street friends. Now go join your friends on top of the pink Abby Play-Doh. Red, green, blue, yellow. Four colorful garage doors with four surprises inside. Oh no, our garage doors are locked and we're going to need keys to open them. Look, it's Elmo's train. And Elmo's train has five different colors. The first color is red. Red like our friend Elmo. This part of the train is called the locomotive, where the train driver is. What's this? Wow, we got our first key. Since the key came from the red locomotive, then it should work on the red lock. Let's try it. It worked! Now we have our red garage door clear and a fire truck lock. That was so cool! The lock turned into a real fire truck. Fire trucks are used to transport firefighters, ladders, and a lot of tools. Here we are at the station. We need to put the fire truck inside the station with the same color door. Do you see the color red? You're right, it's on the left side. Uh-oh, it seems that the door is locked. Let's see what will happen if we turn this key. There you go. Home sweet home for our red fire truck. And now we close it back up. The second color is orange. It looks like this train is carrying a carrot. It's probably on its way to the supermarket. The third color is green. This train car is carrying a green Play-Doh container. What do you think is inside? Let's open it and find out. Whoa, it's green gumballs. Yes, we found another key. Since this key came from the green train car, then it should work on the green garage door. Let's try it. Awesome, it worked. Now, we have our green garage door unlocked. And we have an ambulance lock. Wow, it turned into a real ambulance. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Ambulances provide transportation to hospitals. 
and this ambulance is ready to go home. We need to help him get in the same color garage. Do you know where the white color door is? You're right, it's in the middle. Let's turn the key and open the white garage door. There you go, sweet dreams ambulance. And now we close it back up. The fourth color is blue. And there's a blue egg in our fourth train car. I wonder if the next key is inside. Wait a minute, this isn't our key, it's blue Play-Doh. I knew it! Our fourth key was hiding inside the blue Play-Doh. Let's use it to open our fourth blue lock. It worked! Now our blue cookie monster garage door is unlocked. And this is a police car lock. So awesome! It turned into a real police car! Police cars are transportation for police officers. Now let's match it with the blue door and turn the key to unlock it. There you go! Thank you for your help! And now we close it back up. The fifth color is purple. This train car has a jar and it looks like it's full of jelly. Let's open it. Oh, it's yellow slime. And there's a key inside. Let's pull it out of the slime. It's our last key for our last lock. Let's use our key to unlock our yellow garage door. There you go. We did it. This is a school bus lock. Awesome. Now we have a real school bus. A school bus is used to transport students to and from school. This little bus came to school to drop off some students and a teacher. Let's get this green student and take her to her classroom. This classroom has the number one on it. And it's an art class. Look, someone painted a flower. What's this? It's a little green bird. What's it doing in a classroom? Let's take it to its birdhouse. Here comes the green bird and we're going to put it inside the green birdhouse. We have a pink bird sitting in its pink birdhouse and a yellow bird sitting in its yellow birdhouse. The second student is the color purple and she goes in the purple classroom with the number two on it. This classroom is actually a library. Look, we found a purple bird. Let's put this purple bird inside the purple birdhouse. The third student is the color blue and he belongs in the blue classroom with the number three on it. Let's see what classroom this is. Oh, right on time for a math test, sorry. Oh, look, it's a blue bird. Let's put this little blue bird inside the blue birdhouse. And this is the teacher and she's the color red. And her door has the number four on it and is also the color red. Oh, it's the front entrance to the school. Oh look, a red bird. Let's go put him with the rest. This little red bird belongs in this red bird house. And the last student is the color orange. And his classroom has a number five on it. I hear someone bouncing a ball. Oh, it's basketball practice. Good luck on your game. Oh, wait, look! It's an orange bird! And this orange bird belongs in the orange birdhouse. Now that we've unlocked all of our garage doors, let's start with Elmo's door. Look, it's Ganny the red bus from Tayo the little bus. Let's put it right here to open Oscar's green door. Here comes Rogi, the little green bus. He is Tayo's best friend. Let's put him next to Ganny. And now let's open Cookie Monster's blue door. Here comes our friend Tayo. Tayo is blue. He's also very friendly and helpful. Let's put Tayo next to Rogi and open Abby Kadabi's yellow door. Here comes Lanny. Lanny is yellow and she is the smallest of the four buses and she's also very sweet. 
And here are our four little buses. There goes Lanny, Tayo, Rogi, and Yanni. Hi, kiddos! Oh no! All of our crayon puzzle pieces are missing. Our fun toys are going to help us find our missing colors. We have four colorful balls. First is the color green, yellow, blue, and red. Let's hit the green ball first. Count with me. One, two, three. Whoa, it's green sour apple gumballs. And look, it's our green crayon. Let's go put it on our puzzle board. There you go. Next is the color yellow. One, two, three. We got yellow banana flavor gumballs. And look, our yellow crayon. Let's go put it on our board. Now let's hit the blue ball. One, two, three. Oh my, blue raspberry gumballs. And our blue crayon. Kiddos, you're doing amazing. Last is our red ball. Mmm, my favorite cherry red gumball. And our red crayon. This next toy is a wooden pound a peg. When I hit this blue peg, out comes green. When I hit yellow, out comes purple. Yes, it's our purple crayon. Let's go put it on our board. Let's see if we can find more crayons. Here's a red peg and a pink one. No crayons here, so let's check the other side. By hitting the green peg, we get light blue. And by hitting purple, we get yellow. And red gives us orange. <gasps> awesome! It's our orange crayon. Let's go put our puzzle piece on our board. And last, pink gives us blue. Our last toy is not only colorful, but musical. Let's see if we can find the rest of our crayons. Hmm, interesting. It's a black ball. It's our black crayon piece. How awesome. This is so much fun. Next is a white ball. Yes, it's our white crayon. And our last missing puzzle piece. Neato! Play-Doh fun! Let's use our red Elmo Play-Doh to make a red heart shape. Finished! Now let's press our cutter into our Play-Doh. Take off all of the excess Play-Doh. And voila! It's our red heart puzzle piece. This goes on our board. Here it is. We also got an Elmo toy. Let's make him spin. Now let's use our orange Ernie Play-Doh to make an orange oval. This shape cutter is going to make our oval. And there you go. Wow, we got our missing orange oval puzzle piece. And this is our friend Ernie. Let's use our yellow Big Bird Play-Doh to make a yellow star. First, we use our roller. Here's the star cutter. Now let's press it into the Play-Doh. Take off all of the excess Play-Doh. And voila! We made a yellow star. It's our yellow star puzzle piece. And it goes right here. 
Our friend Big Bird wants to play too. Next is our green Oscar Play-Doh. Let's make a green rectangle. There you go. Now for our cutter. There you go. It's our green rectangle puzzle piece. Let's go put it on our board. This egg is making a silly face. Can you make a silly face? And inside is a green chick. This blue Cookie Monster Play-Doh is to make a blue diamond shape. Kiddos, a diamond shape can also be called a rhombus. We push down our shape cutter, take off all of the excess Play-Doh, and we did it! Awesome! It turned into our missing blue diamond puzzle piece! Look at Cookie Monster go! I hope he doesn't get too dizzy! Now, we'll use this purple telly Play-Doh to make a purple circle. Let's get to it! Perfect! Now let's get our circle cutter. We press down firmly, take off all of the excess Play-Doh, and we did it! It turned into our missing purple circle puzzle piece. And we got another egg. This one looks like it's screaming. <laughs> and inside's a purple chick. Aw, this little purple chick is so cute. Next, we'll use our black count Play-Doh to make a black square. This black Play-Doh looks so cool. Now, we press our shape really well into our Play-Doh. Perfect! No way! It's our missing black square puzzle piece. There you go. And what could this be? It's another puzzle piece. And I see one, two paws. Let's keep looking for the other piece. And now... We'll be using our white sheep Play-Doh to make our white triangle. It's ready! And now we use our triangle cutter to make our shape. It's the white triangle puzzle piece! Now we can complete our puzzle. We found our other puzzle piece. And this looks like the head of a bear. Aw, it's a cute little panda. Two googly eyes. Who could it be? It's Cookie Monster's number case. And Elmo's alphabet case. Which one should we open first? Hmm, how about Cookie Monster? No, Elmo. No, I think we should do the Cookie Monster case first. Oh. Me help you count. Awesome. Let's get to it. Look at all of our numbers and our colorful cookies. In the first row, we have number one, two, and three. Number one is the color green. Two is yellow. And three is orange. Mmm. Me see. One worm. Two teddy bears. And three little duckies. Awesome, Cookie Monster. Next, we have the numbers four, five, six, and seven. Mm, Missy, four goldfish, five superflies, six bots, and seven pigeons. On the last row, we have the number 8, 9, and 10. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, me can do it. Mm. 8 ones. 9 hands. And 10 cookies. Oh, no, no, no. Cookies, cookies. 
Oh, they're not real. Oh, me hungry. Guess what, Cookie Monster? It's cookie time. And we have different colored cookies. Can you tell us where the green yeah, cookies are? Mm. Here's one. And two. Great job! Behind our first green cookie, we have Oscar the Grouch. Behind our other green cookie is the Count. Green cookies, green cookies. There you go, Cookie Monster. Um, nom, 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 Whoa, nom. here's another one. Um, nom, 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 nom. Me one more cookies. Okay, Cookie Monster. Now where are the red cookies? Um, nom, nom, nom. Mm. Here and here. Great job, Cookie Monster. Behind our first red cookie is Elmo. Behind our second red cookie is Snuffleupagus. Uh, me one red cookies. Here's one um, red num, cookie. Num, 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 num. And the second one. Um, num, 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 num. Whoa. This is such a fun game. Can you find the orange cookies this mm. time? This one, and this one. Hmm, are you sure about that cookie monster? Uh, oh, this one. There you go. Behind our first orange cookie is Ernie. And behind our other orange cookie is Abby Kadabby. Wakabango! Here you go, cookie monster. Um, nom, 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 nom. Here's another one. Um, nom, 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 nom. Yummy! Now, where are the yellow cookies? Mm, yellow cookies here and here. That's right, Cookie Monster. Great job! Behind our first yellow cookie is Bert. Behind our second yellow cookie is Big Bird. Whoa, yellow cookies! Mm, nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, 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 nom. Mm, vanilla. Okay, Cookie Monster, can you tell us where the blue cookies um, are? Uh, blue cookies. Um, this one. And this one. You did it! Behind our first blue cookie is Grover. And behind our second blue cookie is Cookie Monster. Um, nom, 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 nom. Oh, nom, nom, nom. oh, cookies, cookies. Kiddos, now that we've learned our numbers from 1 through 10 and found our Sesame Street friends, I think it's time we play with our super fun Elmo case. La 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 la, la 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 la, Elmo's world. We're going to have so much fun today. First, we have the letter A. And A is for... Abby Kadabby. And this is the letter B. Great job. And B is for Bert. Next is the letter C. And C is for Cookie Monster. This is the letter D. And D is for Drum. Next, we have the letter E. Great job! And E is for Ernie. Next, we have the letter F. Great job, Elmo! And F is for football. Next, we have the letter G. Great job! And G is for Grover. This is the letter H. And H is for Horse. Next, we have the letter I. And I is for ice cream. This is the letter J. And J is for jam. This is the letter K. And K is for kite. Next, we have the letter L. Great job, Elmo. And L is for lemon. This is the letter 
M. And M is for Murray. Next is the letter N. And N is for Nest. This is the letter O. Great job. And O is for Oscar. This is the letter P. And P is for Pumpkin. Next is the letter Q. And Q is for Queen. This is the letter R. And R is for Rosita. This is the letter S. Great job! And S is for Snuffleupagus. Do you know what letter this is? T. Great job, Elmo. And T is for Tree. This is the letter U. And U is for Umbrella. This is the letter V. And V is for Violin. This next letter is W. Great job! And W is for Wagon. This is the letter X. And X is for X-Ray. Next is the letter Y. That's right! And Y is for Yo-Yo. Last, we have the letter Z. Great job! And Z is for Zoe. The first letter in the alphabet is... Hey! Uh, Abby Shagabby! Abby likes to do magic. Abracadabra. Delicious! <laughs> the second letter is... B. Big Bird! Big Bird is the color yellow. Let's get ready to have a great day. The third letter is... Cookie Monster! Have you seen my cookies? Oh. The fourth letter is... B. The dinosaur! Look, it's pink Abby Play-Doh. So cool, we got letter stamps. First is the letter A. B. C. And D. The fifth letter is... Elephants are the heaviest animals in the world. I'll make one appear. The sixth letter is... Hello, everybody! <laughs> I sound like a robot! The seventh letter is... The eighth letter is... Ouch! Heart! So cool! We got purple telly Play-Doh! We've got four more letter stamps! The letters E, F, G, and H. The ninth letter is... Oh, iguana! Iguanas are the largest lizards in America. The tenth letter is... Jack! Jack it! Awesome! The eleventh letter is... I just love flying my kite. The twelfth letter is... We got green Oscar Play-Doh. Let's see what's inside. 
We got more cool letters! The letter I, J, K, and L. The thirteenth letter is M. Mouse. It's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. They're driving their roadster racers. Let's race! The fourteenth letter is N. There are two eggs in this nest. <laughs> the fifteenth letter is O. Oscar is the color green. Who? Me? The sixteenth letter is... P. Pineapple. Awesome! We got red Elmo Play-Doh. Our next set of letters are M, N, O, P. The seventeenth letter is Q, Queen. This little queen is ready to go trick or treating. The eighteenth letter is R, Rainbow. Let me show you something magical. <laughs> the nineteenth letter is S. S is also for star. Elmo is going to show us his water toy. The twentieth letter is T. Tambourine. It's Orange Ernie Play-Doh! The next letters are Q R S and T The twenty-first letter is U Umbrella The twenty-second letter is... B. Violin. The twenty-third letter is... W. Watermelon. Watermelon is a healthy snack. One watermelon, two watermelons, and three watermelons. Om nom nom. Om nom nom nom. Om nom nom nom. Whoa. The twenty-fourth letter is... X! Xylophone! No way! We got blue Cookie Monster Play-Doh! Our next letters are... U V W and X. The twenty-fifth letter is Y. Yak. Yaks are close relatives of buffalo and bison. The twenty-sixth letter is Z. Zoe. Z is also for zoo. Bye.